And one thing I noticed about Flo is that ever since she feels challenged, well, she's not actually on my side. She's just words, and she's very snappy with me, which very much bugs me because there's no need for it. But that's not my major issue. Yesterday, I had to go out and fly a sign in order to try to make some money for gasoline so that I wouldn't get my vehicle towed because those people, with all of their infinite glory and knowledge, weren't able to figure out how to get me help. They were able to figure out how to call places that I'd already called, call people I'd already called, and then just call each other and call it help. I'll call you, you call me. And then you call her and she'll call me. And then I'll call her and then I'll call you and then you call me and then I'll call him. And lo and behold, it's a bunch of calling and nothing getting done. So, Miss Flo, since I let her know that I was not happy with the fact that Bruce just left it open-ended when he was coming back. She was complaining to me saying that somebody was not happy with me picking up cigarette butts. I'm going to tell you something. When I went and flew a sign yesterday, probably about 45 minutes or so worth of flying that sign was picking up cigarette butts. So I'm doing the community a favor. I'm picking up nastiness. I'm making it look better. I'm making it smell better. I'm making it prettier and more pleasant. Isn't that what you want is pretty? Oh, no. Not if a homeless person's doing it. And that does present for me a little bit of an issue. See, that's the thing. When people feel challenged, when their ideas don't work, well, they look for any excuse to come down on you. That doesn't make it your fault. If somebody feels challenged, that's on them. If it's uh, mentally challenged, well, they're mentally challenged. That's not your fault, not your choice, not your decision. If people don't keep their word... They're going to treat you like it's your fault, like you wanted it, like you chose it. Like the repercussions have absolutely nothing to do with them not keeping their word. And if it does, they're hateful at you for blaming them. Yeah. So goes life, right? It's a big fight. It's an even bigger fight when people who claim they want to help you or really doing quite the opposite. And it doesn't matter if they're doing it intentionally or on accident. The fact is, they're still doing it either way. Kind of like Ken and Leah's. Did they steal 